What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Barbecue and I had a subscriber of mine tell me that I just had to try out his honey whiskey smoked salmon. So I'm going to be using his recipe today. Typically when I'm cooking salmon, I like mine more of that hotter and faster kind of salmon. Maybe this cured for maybe an hour max. Really not how we're going to be doing it today. Anyway, the smoker that we're going to be uh, doing this on is a smoker that was sent to me by Z Grills. I've done this to bake some macaroni and cheese. I've, you know, actually I char grilled some ribs. I didn't do a video on then I smoked some ribs and I'm pretty impressed with that smoker. If you happen to be in the market for a smoker, it is now the end of summer 2018. I was just on their website and they have a buy one one smoker for uh well at full price so i think it was like 748 dollars for this one particular model and get another one for free anyway i'm gonna leave a link to where you can check out that information in the description below so what it'll allow you to do is buy one for yourself and then ship one to somebody else details are going to be in there anyway the cure for this salmon seemed to be pretty simple what we what we're starting off with is i have uh, two parts of brown sugar and then one part kosher salt so I'm just going to kind of mix those together and I'll do that off camera I'm sure you know how to mix stuff up now as far as the honey and the whiskey goes uh, he just said mix uh, equal parts honey to the whiskey I think that should be enough And then we're just going to mix this up and like I said we'll get to that offline or off camera. Our other ingredient is salt and we're going to have some orange zest uh, in the mix as well. Anyway I'm going to finish mixing this stuff up, bring you guys in, let you take a look at how we're hooking this salmon up and then we'll let it ride in the refrigerator for seven to eight hours. So as you saw, I've already mixed my brown sugar and my salt together. Let's go ahead and hit it with the pepper. And then just go with some of this orange zest. I'm so wanting to put some of that orange juice in that whiskey mixture. All right, so we got that. Let's just go ahead and give it a good mix. All right, so we're gonna have to go ahead and lay, a, put a layer down in this baking sheet or a casserole dish. Now I've already trimmed and cut my salmon into portions. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on top of this, skin side down first. And I might have to get one over here. Now we're going to go ahead and throw the rest on top. So this will be interesting if nothing else. Like I said, I am a hot and fast kind of salmon guy myself. All right, got that. Now let's just go over it with this whiskey and honey mixture. I'm just going to pour it through my fingers. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and let this go in the refrigerator seven to eight hours. And I'm going to make sure that I have plenty of this brown sugar cure on top of this salmon. So this salmon has had a chance to cure for about six and a half hours. Unfortunately, just due to time, I, I can't go the full eight, but we should still be fine. One thing I did do while this was curing was about every 45 minutes, I did go ahead and baste some of that liquid over the top of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rinse these salmon fillets off. So we have the salmon 
rinsed off and one of the things that you'll start to notice is that this salmon is becoming a lot more firm than it was it kind of has a little bit of a tacky kind of appearance to it so that's kind of what you're looking for this is going to go in the refrigerator two hours air dry then we'll get it on the smoker so that salmon's had a chance to air dry for about an hour and a half i'm going to go ahead and fire up my smoker like i said we're going to be using this z grill smoker right here so let's go ahead and get this on i'm just going to go ahead and start it on the smoke cycle as a matter of fact let me make sure we have wood okay the pellets i'm using are some leftover pellets i had from a previous cook we're just going to be running oak in there and let me go ahead and open up the lid while it's getting started it's time to go ahead and get it on this z grill now one thing that i was kind of debating about was the temperature i was going to cook it at i could either go super low and kind of do more of a cold smoke on it or i could go for kind of almost a cook somewhere in that 275 to 325 range i think what i'm going to do since i have time i'm going to go ahead and throw this salmon on and we're going to smoke it at about 250 degrees and i'm going to leave it on the rack that i had it placed in when we had it in the refrigerator just so it's easier for me to remove down the road anyway we're going to cook this until we reach an internal temperature of about 135 degrees there may not be a need for me to temp it but i just want you to know that that's the temperature that you're looking for anyway let's shut this down and let it get smoking so we are now at 137 degrees and you can tell that there's still some moisture in here if i push on this hard enough it will flake off so we are done i'm just gonna go ahead and get this off the grill get it inside taste it and see what's up all right so that is a wrap right there time for me and heady mercury over here to go ahead and get into this salmon go ahead and get this shrubbery off here for me anyway while he's removing all that shrubbery listen if you're in the market for a smoker i'm telling you that z grill i'm really impressed with it especially at that price point like i said depending on watching when you're watching this video run down in the description they gotta buy one get one free buy one for you and send one off to somebody else or maybe go in on it together anyway why don't you take that piece and move it over there i'm gonna get this now like i was saying earlier in the video i am more of a hot and fast kind of a salmon person so we'll see if this is something that i might consider doing down the road Mmm, that's real good. Mm. This is a lot more moist than I thought it was going to be. Mm. And you get that. I might back off a little bit on that uh, honey or whatever is kind of sweetening it. I know a lot of people prefer that, but I might back off of that. But man, I'm telling you. I'd say it's pretty good. It's flaky, moist. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. But I do want to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.